Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Let us discuss about chat configuration in Pega before starting the content. If you did not subscribe, please click on subscribe. Let's get started into the topic. So, a data can be represented or denoted in many formats. So, charts or uh, graphs is one of the representation like people can easily understand it. Even naive users can easily go through it. So in Pega under section, we have uh, different elements to add. So here if you click on plus, if you scroll down, you can see data display and here you can click on chart. So chart is one of the control available in Pega and there are different type of charts and for the respective charts, you can see different tabs as well. So this is column clustered. If you want to represent a data in a pie format, these are the three variants we have. We have these three. If you want to display in bar variant, if you, we have three variants inside, this line, this is gaze, and this is area. So today uh, I will be discussing more about this uh, gaze half arc. So this is a chart title, like what you want to mention. So already I have done configuration of this, so it is easy for me to explain about this. This title where you can see on the launch of a case, suppose here I want to show this. This particular element, this is called as title for this particular chart that you can define over here and data source. So for this chart, normally why we do this? Suppose if you are onboarding an application and uh, your salary or your civil score you want to mention it and uh, you want to show user in a gaze manner you can go for it so this is type database this was the source for this particular chart clipboard page and report definition and this visibility condition where you can do by adding one condition and all and this dial dial here you can see like display values counts other functions and these are different elements we have so first of all i have configured a data page called as civil score this is just a list particular list type of data page and here uh, i'm mapping pxsls uh, to this d page so while creation of it this particular gaze meter will turn around based on the value so today i am discussing about how you we have configured this zero low hundred medium this representation and you have a try and uh, uh, tell me about how we can configure this speedometer over here so this is display value as counts suppose if you have some uh, property and you want to use as some functions you can go for this so this is numeric values uh, you can see suppose this is a writer score i'm going to use You can see here function, there are different functions like sum, average, minimum, max, count. So you can select whatever you want. And this is decimals, like 0, 1, 2, 3, decimals, like this decimals. Suppose we have a value of double and you want to show like this, dot triple zero something. You can go with this. And this numeric symbol, if you don't have anything, you can just cl click on this and suppose if you have a you know, scenario where you want to show some salary and, and dollars or something you can go for this currency and currency type also you can define other currency or local currency now i have selected local currency and what is the position like here we have display on the left side suppose you want to display on the right side of the value you can go with this and this is display like whether you want to show like symbol or denote with some local currency value or some currency name you can go with this and coming to presentation this is like uh, this particular title you want to make some skin changes and you want to display it in different format you can go with title format these are chart formats and this is chart size Suppose you want, uh, want to display it in smaller size, you can go with this custom and you adjust this width and height. And this chart border where you can select uh, a, where you want to display a border for this aspect of chart. If not, you can just uncheck it. 
and this is background border and this border width if you want to do the changes coming to the this part this show needed value suppose here we are showing that this is dollar one dot three so you don't want to display it means you just uncheck this so you can't see the value if you want to see you can go for it and this is a label format for the tick now i have set it just text and this is the main thing this is called as gas colors so this gas colors you can add uh, like this suppose i want to add uh, 0 to 100 as one and i want to divide this chart into three parts so i have configured like this suppose i want to configure 500 to 750 just click this one now i want to add 500 to 750 Automatically, this particular chart has adjusted it with the fourth component. If you want to change the color, just go with this. Change the color, click Submit. Very nice. Now, the next step is we want to display like 750 over here. And you want to have some value like this, low, medium, high. So, how will you do it? So, just you can, if you scroll down, you can see threshold lines and arcs. Add threshold lines and arcs to the chart just click add new first you have to add line then arc now i'm adding line i'm giving 750 750 see value 750 has come now i want to change this value to purple itself you can give it if you want to differentiate you can just go with this See, color of this 750 is the color that we have selected, and you can observe a line over here. Now, I am going to add arc. Why this arc is for this label? I am giving max. For which value this is max is for? This is for 500 to 750. So, 500 to 750. This is max. So you can choose the color of this particular border as well with by selecting here. I'm selecting this color again. See, so you can see observe another color over here. This is tool tip. Whether you want to display some value like this. Dollar. Suppose if you don't want to enable this tool tip, just uncheck it. The value won't be displayed. See, these are different functions that I have discussed already. There is max value and minimum value, and these are like separators. If you want to enable, you can. So, you please try by giving some value to this and you configure this particular chart and comment your experience on this and not only this you can try different types of charts we have whether it be big area bar or some other thing so you would like to know how this behaves based on different charts see now this is one of the chart type suppose if i select column again you will be hitting uh, another type see access series presentation these are having different uh, variables and uh, different tabs where you have to configure it. This is axis in general. Suppose if it is a line, you have to define like a, what is the axis for these lines and series. So in the same lines, you try for other different types of chart types that I will be tried out. Hope you have learned a new concept today. Stay tuned to this channel for more UI update. Thanks for watching this video. Please follow the steps, subscribe, share, like and comment.